Let's just completely ignore the state of my hair. I tried to make it look as presentable as possible, but it's just not cut properly. So it just, I think it looks weird. Anyway, we're glowing up. We're gonna be doing a glow up video. I don't think it's just gonna be one day just because it's currently already like four o'clock. So the day is like halfway through, but today I definitely wanted to start on my hair because I have to do my hair, to like shave, my nails, like all that. I have a lot to do. So I wanted to start today and it's Tuesday and hopefully I'll be done in like a few days and I'll be glowed up for school because if you didn't watch my previous video, then you, wouldn't recognize this new space that I'm in, but this is my new college apartment. Classes start in like two weeks, but my like like events start next week. So I just, I can't walk into the establishment looking like this. Currently I'm letting my hair dry because I just like deconditioned and shampooed it and washed it and everything. So it's just currently drying so that I could blow it out and get ready to put in my braids. I got this whole bag of braiding hair. If you haven't seen how I normally do my braids, basically I always do brown kind of like as the, you know, main thing. But then I get like pops of color. So for this time, it was between blonde 613 or it was between bright red. So I just figured I would get both just so I can like test them out, change them out if I want like a switch up. But I think for right now, I'm gonna do red. So this is gonna go at the bottom of my hair and I'm excited for that. I'm so excited to get my braids back. I'm tired. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I love my natural hair. I love my puff and all that, but it's just so much work. It's so much work when you can't roll out of bed in the morning and just like do your edges from your braids. Like having to do a whole brush up your hair or like gel it down, all of that. It's a little annoying. second for you guys but for me it's been a full day since I've blown out my hair I was waiting because I needed this Amazon package to come this is the Murray's edge wax extreme hold they had delayed my shipment a day so I had to wait a full day to start my braids but what I did in the meantime and why I look so weird right now is that I parted it so like all of my parts are pretty much done and all I have to do is just start putting in the braids which I'm gonna do right now because it's like nine something in the morning and this is the earliest I've ever started braiding my hair like I normally start like midday and that's why it takes three days so I'm hoping me starting a little earlier is going to make it not take as long because I don't want to be doing this for three days straight but yeah this is like the hardest part of my glow up and like the most tedious then once this is done I feel like everything else is just simple and easy. Currently, this is the situation of my apartment because my mom is working there on the couch because I don't have a desk chair yet. So that also means that I have nowhere to really like sit and do my braids, but I think I'll probably just sit on the floor here, which might get uncomfortable, but that way I could use this mirror. I need to like set everything up. Like I need to set up the hair. I already showed you guys the hair and everything like that. I'm trying to think what else I need to start. Well, I could also turn on some lights. I don't even think that you guys have ever seen my LED lights on, but I mean, it's pretty bright outside right now, so it's not like you're not gonna get the full effect. But maybe if I do like a color, like you can kind of see it. Let me show you. I'll show you more in the dark, but this is what they look like. They took two full hours to put up because they go all along there. Funny story about these LED lights is that they actually blew my electricity. I plugged them in and it just went poof 
and then all my electricity went out and then I had to call maintenance and they had to come up and fix it but I figured it out I just needed to put an extension cord I don't know why I didn't think that I needed an extension cord with this much voltage but now I figured it out this is gonna be my space this is gonna be my area and then my mirror's right there so I could work in that actually no a little bit dark in this corner so I'm gonna move the mirror god damn it's heavy Ah, because it's a little bit brighter over here. That way I can sit like this and do it. This is how the setup is going so far. I'm gonna sit on this just because the floor is hard and my butt is probably gonna start hurting within five minutes. And then I have all of the combs that I need. I don't really need that many combs and stuff. It's just really just braiding. And then I just have to lay out the hair. Did I tell you the name of it? This is the Warua. I never know how to pronounce it, but I'll put the link down below. I think they sell it on Amazon. I got it from the beauty supply store, but I do know that they sell it on Amazon. And then I always get it in the color four, even though like half of my hair is blonde. So sometimes it ends up looking weird, but I think my blonde is like slowly fading. This is the color that I get. I'll do one pack of brown right now, but then what I really need to open up is the red because the red is going on the bottom. So I need to start with that. This is the only brand that I like to get because it comes pre-stretched. Like you could get different hair brands, but most of the time you have to stretch them yourself. And stretching is basically just like how it's kind of more like a natural end, which is like what you need to braid so that the braid isn't like a square end, it's more like a frayed end. So these ones come pre-stretched, which saves so much time because one time I did my hair when I had to do like the light purple and that was non pre-stretched hair and that added like an extra hour to stretch out the hair. This is how the red looks out of the bag. It's very bright, but I found that like when it goes underneath, the brighter is the better because one time I did like a darker maroon and it was like, it just looked like brown. This is the setup and I will probably be sitting here all day with minimal short breaks to try to get this done fast. I'm also gonna put some Love Island UK on because I realized I was about to be sitting in silent. Everything around me felt so lonely. And if you ask me if I ever cry Only when I look into your eyes Remember what I felt like when you left me Everything around me felt so lonely And if you ask me if I ever cry Only when I look into your eyes good amount. I finished everything that needs to be read. That's what it looks like from the back. And been like, I think three hours. I started at like 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30. No, it's been four hours. And this is how much I got done in four hours. I decided that once I finished with the red, I would take a break and eat some lunch and then start off with the brown and do everything at the top. But I still think I'm making good time. Like, I don't know. If I take a quick lunch and like don't dilly-dally, dilly-dally, then maybe I can finish today. Let's think positively. For my lunch, I'm gonna have leftovers. Just a leftover kale salad with pecans, cranberries, and then this is quinoa, chicken, and sweet potato. I'm gonna warm this up and then the salad doesn't need to be warmed. Even though sometimes I'd be popping the salads in the microwave for like two, three, five seconds because I hate when salads are like freezing cold. I just can't, I can't eat it like that. I feel like I can't taste any flavors if something is that cold. It just feels like ice. Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England never know But when I see my friends I see them with this golden glow It seems they can touch the rainbow It's 
it's like six something right now but as you can see I got a lot more done I really only have like two rows down the middle to do and then it's just like the back but I did it this way so that I could go out right now because basically me and my mom need to go to I don't know what the mall is called but like this mall area that has like Bed Bath & Beyond, Best Buy, and Target because we have to pick up a mount for my TV and I think a few things from Bed Bath & Beyond that I need for like living essentials so I figured I would do have like the fronts like this that way maybe I could put on a hat that way it doesn't look too crazy but right now I'm just going to steam these ends so these get sealed so we don't have hair dangling around me while I'm walking through Target. There's literally hair all over me, all over the floor. Look at the mess that I've created. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great time cleaning my rugs. Okay, I'm ready to head out to Bed Bath & Beyond. I just threw on this fit. I still feel really dirty because I normally like to shower every time I do my hair because the grease is very sticky, but I threw on the hat and actually the hat matches perfectly with the color of my hair. So yeah, we're ready to go. We're back and I'm sweaty and hot. We got a bunch of stuff. Well, not actually, we actually didn't get that much stuff. We really just got like basic living stuff, Ziploc bags, parchment paper, stuff like that. But right now I'm about to grub. There was a Chick-fil-A. So I was like, yes, please. My mom got a spicy chicken deluxe and I got two eight count and a medium fry. And I'm starving and I feel like this is gonna taste amazing. Comment down below, which sauce is the best sauce from Chick-fil-A? I, of course, say Chick-fil-A sauce, but I think close second is barbecue. Close third is Polynesian. That's my lineup. Damn, did they, get, did they mess up and give us extra? What? I'm confused. But I'm also not complaining. I'm out to grub, and then I have to finish my hair. I feel like this was good. It was good that I like took a mini break, rejuvenated. My butt got a chance to stop hurting, and now I can like just push through and finish. There's really only like eight or nine more braids to do, so I'm excited. One hour later. I finished eating, and I changed back into like my already kind of dirty shirt, just so that I don't get my Brandy Melville top dirty. And now I'm ready to finish this. I realized that. I also never really gave you guys like a tutorial. I mean, I don't know if you really care about how to do the braids, but I think I've mentioned this like one time on my channel, but it's literally so simple. You can also like link down below the video that I learned from, give you the quick rundown. I just take three pieces, all moderately the same size and all moderately like small. And then for each of the three pieces, I take some of the Murray's Edge Wax on my pointer finger and I put it on the kind of like curved part of the hair where I'm gonna be like adding it into to my braid and I do that for each strand and then once that's done I take the gorilla snot and I put that on my actual hair do, 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 do. that song has been stuck in my head the song that goes like let me be your woman Woman, woman, woman. I start off the braid like I would do a regular box braid. Then once I've done it three or two times, I start to just add in the hair. And then I add in the next one. And then the third one, I usually wait a little bit so that the braid can have a little bit more length. One down, a few more to go. I'm going to call my grandma while I finish this up because I haven't talked to her since I left New York. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, Grandma. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Would that be me? If I stay. In my city. This is how my hair turned out. I love it. I'm 
really, really feeling the red. I think the red was one of the best choices I've ever made. It's 12.42. Actually still making good time. I thought it would be like 3 o'clock in the morning. But I have time to take a quick shower and then just head to bed. And then we'll continue this glow up tomorrow. Hello guys, welcome back. It's the next day and this is day, I don't know of my glow up, but right now I'm about to head to CVS. I got dressed for the day and right now I'm about to just put on my lotion. Basically from CVS, I wanna try to find pore strips. I think I mentioned this to you guys yesterday that I was looking for pore strips when I went to Target, but I ended up not finding any. So hopefully CVS will have it. I'm pretty sure it will. The only thing that I I got yesterday from Target was this the black peel off mask and then I got this as like a substitute for the charcoal strips if I didn't end up finding them in CVS. Let me get ready and go and then for the rest of the day my mom and I have to run some errands. Technically my apartment is kind of getting a glow up because hopefully today I can get like a few plants because right now my apartment is just bare dead life. No life. I'm the only life form in my apartment currently but you know, I want to become like a plant. It needs to be like planty vibes because I think I mentioned this, that it's like mid-century modern theme. One of the important parts of mid-century modern is like the greenery. So we're going to try to go to Whole Foods for, to look for plants. Fit of the day. I've been wearing these shorts that I got from Brandy Melville religiously for the past three days straight. And I love them because they're low-waisted. And then for my shoes, I'm either going to do, I'm either, oh, it's dark. It's a dark one. I can either do socks and sandals, which sounds like a moment, giving very much comfort, or Air Force Ones. It's giving very much socks and sandals. I have returned from both CVS and the beauty supply store. I secured the pore strips, so this will be done tonight. I'm excited. And then the second part of my glow up that I wanted to get was press on nails because normally I like starting to get my nails from this place called Chill House. I've gotten two press on nails from them, but they have like really cute designs and stuff like that. But I forgot to go to their store because they have one location in Manhattan and I didn't want to order online because I'd have to pay for shipping and I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little strapped right now. So I decided to go to the beauty supply store and just get some kiss nails because honestly, people be sleeping on kiss nails. If you want to go do your full set at the nail salon, I'm not judging, but just don't judge my $5 kiss nails because they be hitting too. I walked in there and I was like, wait, cute stuff. There's this one and this is like an ombre, pink, purple. I don't know. I just like the dark vibes. I was going for very dark vibes because I don't know, there's something about this red and black hair radiates like dark energy so i liked this like faded ombre thing they are a little bit long but that's okay because i got nail clippers and normally when they're a little bit long like this i just clip them down and then i file them so i could either do this or i could do these plain black ones this one is like a stiletto shape and i normally don't like stiletto but it's fine because i can jesus so loud but it's fine because i can just file them down into oval and oval is normally the shape that i like to do She's a beaut. I don't know what kind she is. I'll insert the name once I ask my mother because my mother's the planter. She's supposed to dangle when she grows, so hopefully I can get a nice shelf to put her on. But this is her. Don't know her gender identity. We'll keep it gender neutral just to stay safe. But comment down below some names for the plant. Giving very like spontaneous, bold, nice energy vibes. So I'm gonna start in the whole like skin part of my glow up because my skin honestly needs it right now. I feel like, again, I think I mentioned this before, but like, I don't know, there's just little bumps because I am starting my period soon. I'm PMSing and whenever I start to PMS, my skin just kind of gets a little bit wacky and especially because it's so humid here and the change in like weather everything is kind of making it go out of whack. So I'm going to do some skincare stuff and show you guys my whole skincare routine and also thank you to Curology for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you guys haven't heard of Curology, they're a acne treatment and like a skincare company, but they're like different, they're unique. 
videos, you get assigned a dermatology provider that you can reach out to and connect with to kind of have your skincare routine more personalized to you. I was struggling with my acne since like freshman, like I would say like late middle school all the way up until senior year of high school. And that was because like I was trying a bunch of different products, didn't know what I was using. Like I was just trying everything under the sun. I was trying drugstore. I was even going to the actual doctor and like getting medication that still wasn't working five, no, six months ago. It was like the end of December. Curology reached out to me and they offered to send me some of their products for a free trial. And I tried it and I kid you not, I literally kid you guys not, in one month, I saw a major difference that I had not seen in my entire four years of high school. And I was like, I'm not exaggerating. I will put the pictures. This was me before, before, this is me after. My dark marks started to lighten up. I no longer have cystic acne across my cheeks. My acne only comes when I'm PMSing and when I'm very hormonal. That was the biggest glow up to me because I know it's back to school season and a lot of us glow up in different ways, but like one of the main things that would always frustrate me when I was going back to school is that like I would get my hair done, I would do all this stuff, get new clothes, but my skin was still bad. And don't get me wrong, like literally you are amazing. Acne and everything, you're amazing. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not your acne is fine you're fine but I understand I get it you know you're beautiful but sometimes you're just like dang like I wish my acne was not there but I think the fact that these curology products are customized and you can actually connect with a provider that is going to have your skin's best interest at heart is the most important thing I will be showing you guys my full routine after I do my pore strips if you guys want to get some products for back to school or clear up your skin for the new year new season then all you have to do is sign up up for their free trial and basically all you have to do is pay five dollars for shipping and handling and then come back to me tell me like I want to know if it worked for you guys because that's how much I care about skin and that's how much I want you guys to be confident in your skin anyways let's get into these pore strips now let's read these instructions twist strip to loosen and separate why is this a little bit complicated I thought you just stick them on your face Still confused. Move strip from the pouch. Got you. Like, okay. Twist strip. This is what it looks like. To loosen and separate splits prior to use. Okay. What? Wait, why am I so lost? Who made it this complicated? Oh, got you. Got you. Got you. I have to, got you. I have to wet my face. I can't see also because I probably should have put contacts in to do this, but oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this blind. I gotta go really close. Here's hoping I put it on right. I think it might be upside down. It's definitely upside down. Should I take it off and try again? Maybe it won't. Maybe now's the time to take it off so that it doesn't dry on. I'm ruining this poor, poor strip. Start over. All right, now we know the drill. Now we know the drill. We're running it back. We're running it back because I need this to work. Girl in the picture has it like that. Okay. Just like that. Perfect. I did it. I think hopefully it's on nice and properly. Let dry for about 10 to 15 minutes until stiff to touch. See you guys in 15 minutes. Later. I still can't see, but we're about to rip this off. Well, not. Ah! I'm just gonna have to do it fast. I'm literally crying. Oh my god. 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 Girl, that felt like war. How does my nose look now? Well, first of all, it just looks red. This is what you were waiting to see. These are all the white heads that came out. I do think I see a difference in my nose. My nose definitely looks a little less hoary. I don't know if that's a good word for it. Here's a close up of my nostrils really get in there. Wow, that was painful, bruh. I am now out of the shower. I'm clean. I'm also shaved. I can now show you under my armpits without being afraid. And my legs are nice and smooth. And then now I'm just going to finish my routine before I go to bed. Basically, 
my shower routine if you guys wanted to know. In the shower, I use Castile soap. I use the purple one. I never use the, pur the peppermint one because if you know Castile soap, you know the peppermint one burns like crazy. So I use this one, which is hemp lavender. And then on my body, I use the Curology body wash. This one says that it's 2% salicy 2% salicylic acid. This is my skincare routine. Like I only do my skincare routine at night because you're supposed to use the Curology formula only at night. So that's when I do it. I just use my cleanser and then I wash my face. And then I like to let it sit for like, I don't know, 20 seconds or so, kind of count down, just so that I feel like it had time to like settle into my face and do something. I don't want to be like too harsh, so I don't like put too much pressure on my face. Okay, wash off. The next thing that I do is toner. Now my toner is the only product that I don't use from Curology because Curology just doesn't make toners. So I just use this Vivent toner and it's 3% mandelic acid. But honestly, I find that any toner really works. Toner was never really an issue for me. Really whatever works for your skin, this one works for my skin. But I think it's like if you have a good base, like if you have a good cleanser, lotion, and formula, then I feel like the toner isn't gonna make such a big impact. I can't wait to put like plants or like just decorate my bathroom because it looks so basic. It looks like a hotel bathroom. And I feel like this is gonna be like a regular angle in my apartment because the lighting's great and this is the bathroom. Like this is the first time that I have a whole bathroom to myself to film content in. I just need to like get something to decorate here. I don't know, some cute towels or something. Anyways, next step in the skincare routine is the Curology formula. But it says everything that's in my formula. Mine has zinc, clindamycin, niacinamide, and then that's it. So I just do a few pumps of that and then just apply that. And then this is the Rich Moisturizer from Curology. I think they had two options, a regular moisturizer and then a moisturizer for more dry skin. And my skin is definitely on the drier side, so I got this one and it is the best moisturizer I've ever had. I used to have skin that would like crack and it would peel a lot because I was using such strong products before and then not a good moisturizer. But with this one, my face has not peeled or cracked or any of that at all always feels moisturized. That's basically it. And I try not to like wash my face in the morning or the daytime because then I feel like it just washed off everything I did like eight hours ago. Right now I'm gonna do my nails and then I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna be done So I gotta pick between the ombre or the black. I think I'm leaning more so Towards the black. I don't know. It's just the vibes that I'm getting right now And then I have my glue right here I don't know which one this one is brush on and then this one they're both brush on I don't really think it matters which one I use but I guess I'll just use this one I have been starting to get like chai from Trader Joe's so that I can make it myself because chai in DC I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't want to generalize DC but just like the three coffee shops that I've been to and I've ordered chai, it's very different than New York. And I think it's because a lot of the coffee shops here use a chai syrup in their milk instead of a chai brew, like instead of a tea brew. And I feel like that just makes it taste really milky. So I just decided to make my own chai. And I honestly think I like it better because at least that way it's like a consistent taste. So I haven't had chai for the morning. I don't really have anything else. I guess I have to go to Trader Joe's and get that. I don't know, I have to decide what day is gonna be like my grocery store day. I wanna make it a day where it's not too packed 
packed with a bunch of people and I have the luxury of not working a nine to five. So I can go like after school, but I think I need to just pick up a few things for like dinner tonight or tomorrow, or because it's the weekend, I could possibly order something, but I don't know because I'm a little poor right now. I don't know, I guess I'll figure it out. Maybe if anything, I'll just go to the grocery store tomorrow. I don't think I want my grocery day to be Sundays because I feel like a lot of adults go grocery shopping on Sundays. I'll probably do it like a weird time in the middle of the week. My mom left this morning. She left at like six o'clock, like five o'clock in the morning. That was sad. Now I'm, I'm here on my own. It feels, I don't know, it hasn't felt real yet. I think when I like walked away from her, it like felt real. I was like, okay, I'm in college now. Like I'm here, okay, I can't get the freaking nails out. I think as she was walking away, I was like, I literally turned around and I said to myself I was, as I was going up the elevator, I was like, okay, so I'm alone now. Like what? What do I do? I feel like it's gonna be fine. Like I just need to go to campus I have not gone to campus yet because um, I'm scared of socializing I guess like people assume that because I talk to a camera 24 7 that I'm good at talking to other human beings But no, I'm the worst. I have no social skills whatsoever. I'm extremely shy at meeting new people so I've just been scared to go to campus and Make friends, but I'm gonna push myself to do that today. I feel like I'm vibing with the black Black is gonna be a cute vibe. I'm just excited for the new chapter. I don't know. I don't like to get mushy gushy and be like, I'm excited. No, but I am excited like for just like new stuff to do. I've been doing the same thing for a year and a half, two years basically, and I'm ready to do new stuff, to film new content. It's funny because I know a lot of people have been saying this, that they've lost all their social skills and I genuinely have. Like I have not communicated with other people my age on a regular basis since senior year of high school and I'm now a sophomore in college. Like, what is going on? The only people I've communicated with for the past two years are my parents and my family. And like, that's different because it's like they're your parents and your family. You don't really have to try in a conversation with them. But like, when you're making new friends, you have to like small talk and mingle. And I, don't, I forgot how to do all that. I measured out the five nails for my sizes for my fingers so I can start gluing on. Um, I think I actually, oh shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I didn't buy nail polish remover. I literally think I need to go run to CVS right now and get that. Let me go to CVS and then we can start gluing them on. I got the nail polish remover, but I was like, I was looking for mosquito spray because the mosquitoes here are vicious. There's no escaping mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are inside the buildings, the mosquitoes are outside the buildings, mosquitoes are everywhere. So I was looking for mosquito spray, but they were all out. Not the light shortage on mosquito spray. I just need to have my least favorite part and buff my nail. I hate this because it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Like this reminds me, you know when you go to the dentist and they like do the drill on your teeth to clean them? I'm like, that's up. All right, that's one nail done. It looks very much like a witch's thumb right now. I don't know. I mean, it's also because of the shape and I'm gonna change the shape, but Hopefully it's fine. This is how we're looking right now. It's definitely giving Catwoman vibes, but again, I think it's because of the shape and the length. When I get rid of these daggers, these literal claws, they look a lot cuter. I mean, I even think that they're cute now. Officially done. I made them a lot shorter than they were before, and now I love them. I don't know. Black could be a hit or miss for some people, but I think I'm vibing with it. It's different, and I like it. And it's not like too flashy, but it's also like, you know, when you see it, you see it. Now I just finished eating bagel cream cheese. I'm going to start to get ready for the day so that I can leave my apartment. I'm not gonna do any like crazy makeup or anything like that. I'm just gonna do my regular routine because it's like 90 something degrees outside. So I think anything, any concealer, anything like that I put on, I would just sweat off immediately. And then I think I'm gonna have to move my couch a little bit. This is the dilemma. I don't have a chair. So let's just 
And then I have my mirror right here. I just do my primer. I'm contemplating if I want to go take pictures. That sounds like a lot of effort, but I know if I do it, I'll feel very productive. I also want to make sure that I get some editing done today. I want to edit a full video. That way I can post it tomorrow because I'm not necessarily running behind, but like I have all my back to school videos that I need to post and I don't want it to go up too late, but it's just like the way that I pre-film, it ended up being this way. Now for my brows. Just gonna use my Benefit brow brush. Curl the lashes. Mascara. I'm trying to think if I should do blush also. And then let me just lay my edges. Imagine I do all this and don't even leave my house today. But I feel like this is gonna motivate me more to leave my house. And I'm like, I just got ready, bro. Like. I didn't get ready for nothing. Honestly, I don't even want to do my edges too crazy because I'm probably gonna sweat them out in like two milliseconds when I step outside. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit. I can put my couch back now. And also I need to pick out an outfit. I mean, it is hot, but I've been wearing my jean shorts for the past three days straight. I mean, they're not dirty or anything, but I'm just like, should I switch it up? Or I can do my cargos. I could do these with like a black or white tank top. Okay, this is how the cargos look. I have a feeling like they're gonna be too heavy for this weather. It's so hot and like, I feel like I'm gonna die of heat stroke in these today. I might just have to go with my shorts again, even though I literally love these pants. If you didn't see my back to school haul video, I thrifted these pants. From L Train. L Train always has like an abundance of cargo pants. I think it's a no to these for today. So I might just do shorts and then pick a nicer top. Okay, guys. I know I went basic. I know I did. But basic is just my favorite thing. This is the fit. Literally white tank top, blue jeans. It's too hot to try any harder. And then I put my hair up in this like cute little ponytail vibe. Let me go in the bathroom one so you can see it a little better. This is how I put my hair up. I actually really like it. I feel like it's kind of like a faux ponytail, like from the side. I like it. I feel like this is when I feel the most confident is when I'm in my basic attire. I did my rings to complement my new black nails. And I'm vibing. I don't know what shoes I would probably wear, either like my sandals to do very comfortable vibes or my beat up Air Force Ones. This is the final blow up. I feel like I kind of did a lot, but then sometimes I'm like, it's not a huge transition. But then I remember the fact that I literally did my entire head of hair and that always makes it feel like a big transition. And then my final nails and the fit. I'm probably gonna either go take some pictures. This fit is a little basic for pictures, so probably not. So I might try to see, maybe I'll try to go to campus. I think I will. Alrighty, see you guys next time. Okay, bye.